Let's cross back to Delano D'Souza, who's at the headquarters of uh, Emmanuel Macron's uh, Together Party. We heard that speech earlier uh, by the prime minister. She is into the second round in the constituency where she's running in Normandy. A lot of other races you're watching, though. That's right, uh, Francois. I'm actually standing with Pierre Alexandre Anglade, uh, somebody who is a, a sitting member of parliament and who is running for French citizens living abroad, who has come in first place uh, in uh, his uh, uh, what he's representing with 39% of the vote. And he's here with me now. How are you feeling tonight? Well, it's a, it's an important moment for the country because we French people are, are searching for a majority in the, in the in the parliament, and so we are. Uh, present uh, in most of the constituencies for the second round of this election. So we are focused. We want to mobilize our electorate for the second round to give a clear and strong majority uh, to the president uh, next week. We had a historically low turnout today. What's your reaction to that? Well, it's, it's never good. It's not good for democracy. So we need to, to mobilize people. We need to convince people and we need to explain the time we are living in. You know, we, it's a time of challenges in Europe, in France, in Ukraine. And so you need to have a strong majority to decide. And, and so the, this is what is at stake next week. The far left coalition has done surprisingly well today. Well, they are high, yeah, that's true. But uh, uh, they, they, that's why they did this coalition. But if you look at their project, they don't share anything together on Europe. They don't have the same project on, on economy. They don't have the same project on, uh, on energy and uh, climate change. And so basically, if they will arrive uh, in charge in next week, it will be uh, only division and the blockade of the, of the country. So we need to mobilize to have a clear and strong majority uh, next week. What does it say to you that Emmanuel Macron won the presidency just in April uh, by a large percentage uh, versus Marine Le Pen and tonight? The, the far left has come out uh, pretty neck and neck with, with, the, to, with the together or the ensemble centre-right coalition. Does that mean people, the French public, don't want Emmanuel Macron ruling the country with a free hand? They want to keep him in check? I think, I think uh, the, the French people said very clearly what they wanted uh, last April. They, give, uh, they, they elected Emmanuel Macron without any doubt, you know, instead of what said uh, Jean-Luc Mélenchon. Mélenchon said that uh, there was uh, no uh, clear support for, for the president. There is a clear support for the president in the country. Now we are in this election. There are two runs. And so we will count the, 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 the MPs uh, uh, next week. But, uh, uh, you know, every, everyone says tonight that uh, Mr. Mélenchon and his coalition is doing a very, a very high score. Well, if you put all, the, if you put all together uh, the different uh, uh, parties which are part of, the, of this coalition, they are lower than what they were at the presidential uh, election. So uh, all in all, you know, next week the French people will have to make a very clear choice between the pro-European parties and those who want to defeat Europe, between those who want to strengthen our economy and those who want to, to weaken the country. What if next week you don't manage to get the 289 seats in Parliament? What are we going to have? Five years of policy paralysis in France? Well, I, I think what is at stake is very is, is very important. It's it's the the way the country goes for the next five years, and we need to have a clear majority uh, in order to uh, implement the project of, of of the French president. If there is no majority, then it will be the blockade of the country. It is as clear as as, it, as I say it to you. You know, there is no way out. And when the people say they want to balance uh, the power, there is no balance of power. Or you have a majority, a clear majority for the president, or you block the country. It's as simple as that. Pierre-Alexandre Anglade, thank you very much for speaking to us on France 24. So there you heard it uh, from uh, the Together or the Ensemble Centre-Right Coalition here in France. Clearly, the next week is going to be crucial. They need those 289 seats uh, to secure the majority in Parliament. Otherwise, we're going to have five years of uh, policy paralysis in the country. Or likely. lots of deal-making uh, after that second round. Many thanks, uh, Delano D'Souza.